Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you right now. Let's see what we got. We have a 143 scale 1962 Opel Cadet. Now, this is a classic. This is a European classic. One of those, if you're from Europe and some other countries in the world had these also. But if you're from especially Germany, you got to remember these cars. They, they were gorgeous. They were very cute cars. This specific model came out between 1962 and 1965. It had a pretty short lifespan, I guess, compared to other models out there that they last for at least five years. And I don't know why, because they look nice. Now, these models were sold Latin America. I remember seeing them in Europe. I'm not sure about North America because I know Opal was, was around here. I think they did, but you don't find any of them. Not even in a car, in a classic car auto show. Unfortunately, sadly, I wish I did see more other cars besides American cars. And I love my American cars, but we like to see a little bit of everything in those car shows. But that's just my honest little opinion. We all have different ones like our fingers. They all look different. <laughs> all right, going back to this. Let's see, this is a two door sedan. They also had a, um, a coupe, a nice little coupe, which it was, a, a more, it was a little bit more slanted in the back. But it was also a two-door. And they also had a, uh, a station wagon. Or you want to call it brake. Or you want to call them state. However you want to call them. <laughs> but it was cute. I, one thing I love looking about this little die cast. This white trim around the tires. Isn't it really gorgeous? It gives it that touch of elegance that I really love. I it, they don't have to be an economy car to not make it elegant. You could be having you could be driving an economy car and still have a look, an attractive look. <laughs> so props for that. By the way, this is done this is made by Mini Champs. Great quality brand. Great quality, one of the best. Mini Champs, the Rev Really good. XO is also pretty good. But those are... Uh, then we got the bigger... The ones that are even more expensive. Like Mark 43. And Abro. And some other brands. But you know, there's a lot of choices out there. Nowadays, I'm glad they make so many different brands. With every brand covering at least in good proportions. The brands. Like at least two, three brands that they really focus on. And some of them, they're more expanded in their mind that they try to sell every brand out there, at least most of them. All right, let's continue to this car. I like how this car has this very, you know what this car reminds me a bit of the American cars, believe it or not. It's very big, but small at the same time. I mean, big, it's like, it looks like a big trunk. It looks, it looks like a big front but it's really not this car is about i will say the size of uh nowadays of a hyundai accent <laughs> even probably smaller than that but before then small car i mean medium-sized car it looked like today's date is a small car so you know time changes cars keep getting bigger and bigger but they still maintain the same name brand like, you know, nowadays you buy a Honda Civic and they look like a mid-sized car. Back in the days, when the Honda Civic came out, they were barely a Mini Cooper <laughs> in size. So things change, you know. Brands keep getting bigger and bigger, but their names keep staying, staying the same because it's already a built name. We all know a Civic. We all know a a Honda Accord. We all know, you know, brands like that and models like that. Going back to this, 
Uh, I like the chrome bumper. Chrome, it, it really gives it a classic touch. Back in the 60s and 50s and 70s, chrome bumpers were everywhere. And you didn't want to crash against one of them because your car will be total. <laughs> if you didn't have a chrome, I mean a, a metal bumper, chrome, you know, when you, when it's chrome, it's most of the times they're metal in a bumper. All right, those big headlights for a small car, but I guess that's how they came and that's how they were. You can see the rear view mirror from there. Those are the details that I appreciate. Little details like that that you say, wow, you know, I'm paying such and such amount, but the car is worth it. Little details like that, you don't see them in in cheap little brands, you know, that you may see, but they're not the quality that you're expecting. All right, guys, I'm going to let you enjoy this car. I'm going to let it go around a few times so you can have a nice look at the car. All right, everyone. So, you know, I was thinking as the car is, is doing a little show off there. Have you guys ever drove one of these? Because these cars were popular. I remember even in the 80s, I used to see them in Latin America. Well, I imagine that if I see them in Latin America, they most likely were a lot in Europe. But, again, have you ever drove one of these? Or you collect this this scale 143 scale but what other scales have you collect do you collect or have you collected and you kind of gave up a little bit but you still have that habit or that hobby <laughs> habit habit of buying them hobby of collecting them but um yeah i would love to hear your stories and your your choices what brands you like to collect what models i always say in my videos i'm open to every model out there I should have not, I should have never started that. <laughs> I opened a door that I cannot close. I cannot stop buying them and this is going to be a bad habit. It was a good hobby, but it turned out to be a bad habit because I cannot stop buying them. If I see them, I want them. Oh Lord, I can't stop it. It's, it's like a, like a vicious cycle. <laughs> How dramatic am I? Right? I should start making Broadway uh, theater, theater or something. Too dramatic. <laughs> Alright guys, so hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Hopefully you subscribed already. What are you waiting for? Go ahead. I support you. <laughs> and yeah, definitely. And click the bell next to the subscribe button. It will let you know when I'm posting more videos. Take care everyone. And stay safe. Goodbye.